you what I got in the mail. I got my MCT oil. I, you can probably tell that some of it's missing from there because I already refilled my um, bottle that I used to. I'll show you. It's sitting right here. I put it in my bulletproof coffee. <laughs> like that. So anyways, I want to show you this because the lid comes broken sometimes. And I see on the reviews that there's a lot of complaints about the lid being broken. So look what they did. This is super cool. This is just like a slice of a pool noodle. <laughs> and they stuck it right around the lid. Works like a charm. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Lori. I got a little grocery haul for you today. I stopped at a real quick trip into Aldi. I stopped at Walmart and most of the stuff's from Walmart. And I did stop at Kroger really quick because I wanted to get some more kale. I promised a kale chip video a long time ago. I never did it because I never had time to mess with it. I even bought the kale and everything, but I ended up giving it to my aunt because I knew that I wasn't going to have time to do it. We had um, some unexpected wrestling meets pop up that week. So I just never had time to make the kale chips and actually make the video while I was doing it. So I just gave it to my aunt. <laughs> Anyways, I got more kale and I'm planning on making that video this week. So here we go. So this is the kale. I'm not going to pull it out of there because I'm going to keep it in this bag, but I got a nice sized bag of kale here <laughs> and it looks really good. So. And that's the only thing I bought at Kroger. I bought everything else at Walmart and a little bit of stuff at Aldi. So first I... I wasn't even gonna show you this stuff because it's not really groceries, but I did pick up some other stuff like their um, Equate brand baby shampoo because we give our dogs a bath in it and it was like $2.34 for this thing, 20 ounce bottle. I like to give prices. I don't know if you guys even care about this kind of stuff, but I'm gonna show it to you anyhow. I picked up some of this soft soap body wash. Every once in a while I buy this. It was $2.97 for this bottle. And I bought this because I absolutely love the smell of it. It's sweet, sweet honeysuckle and orange peel. And it smells so good. I also picked up some of this glucosamine and I'm probably gonna take this back because I always get the kind with MSM in it. I get the glucosamine chondroitin, is that what it is? I don't know. Well, I got the wrong kind. So I'm probably gonna take this back. Oh well. And I also picked up some chalk paint because I've got a couple things that I got for free. Pieces of furniture that I'm gonna paint. And I don't know when I'm gonna have time to do it. Hopefully on Friday, maybe Saturday. But yeah, this is just the chalk paint and it's like a grayish color. And then this is the wax that I bought for, um, for the top coat. And I also picked up some of these, a big package of these sponge brushes. And everything else almost everything else is grocery items. Okay, I picked up these five bananas for 88 cents and I know that this is not keto, but I do eat these after I lift. I'll have my protein and if I want a banana, that's when I eat it. And that's perfectly fine. It works out just fine for me. So there you go. I picked up some tuna. It was $1.67 a can for these, um, what is it? Let me see, 12 ounce cans. And it's just in water. That's the kind I always get. I've never even gotten a kind in oil, but I don't know. It would probably be fine for keto. I guess it would be a good thing for keto. I don't know, but I always get the kind in water and I've never tried the Great Value brand before, but I think they'll be fine because I'm gonna use this for tuna cakes. And I did buy, I bought five cans and I'm gonna make them all up at the same time. Then we'll have extras for another time. I also picked up a Faye yogurt. And this one is the 35 ounce container for $5.38. And I did get the 2% kind, but I usually just get the full fat, but this is what I got this time. So they didn't have any of the full fat, but this is good too, it's fine. I also picked up some Parmesan cheese. We're almost completely out. And I usually get the big container, but they, the um, little ones, the little eight ounce ones were actually on sale for $2.36 a piece. So it turned out to be a better value. So I just picked up two of those. And I got this twin pack of eggs, two 18 packs of eggs, and a dollar and 30 cents. They're always a really good price at this Walmart that I go to. I also picked up a package of this Great Value Pepperoni. It's the 21 ounce package, and I've been buying the Great Value brand lately, and we really like it. It's really good. So $6.94. I write it on the package so I can tell you guys the prices, in case you wonder why I always look at it. <laughs> That's why. 
but when I got it home, I noticed that it has a slit in the package. It must be from when they like cut the box open, but I don't know, I guess it'd be all right. It's already been open because we already ate some of it, so. And I also got a package of this string cheese, which is already open because Brendan wanted some of it, so. And he went to wrestling practice, so. Go ahead, take some, go. It's a 36 ounce package. There's 36 string cheese things in there. And it was $7.96. I also picked up some asparagus and it was $1.85. I got two of them. And I'm actually gonna make this with our supper tonight. I'm gonna roast it in the oven. I found out I like it that way. I don't care for it so much if you just cook it like in a pan. I do like it roasted in the oven though. And this is not the big fat kind, but it's not teeny tiny skinny like this other stuff I had, but it's pretty small. Picked up some romaine lettuce for $2.48. And I also picked up some spring mix. And for some reason it was marked down. It's the yellow sticker, $1.68. And I can't remember how much it was regular price. Well, it says save $2.98. So I'm like, okay, well, it looks perfectly fine to me. There's like a little spot right there that doesn't look the greatest, but that's it. I mean, it looks, other than that, it looks really perfectly fine. So we're gonna eat this in the next couple days or so anyways. The use by date is four days out. So we'll have it gone by then. So yeah, <clears throat> I couldn't pass it up. I also picked up this package of ground chuck and I don't remember the price on it to tell you the truth. So I'm not sure. <laughs> I got this chuck roast and it was also marked down $6.61, the yellow sticker. I'm gonna cook it tonight. I'm gonna to pull out the Instant Pot and cook it in that. And this is about a two and a half pound, just a little bit over two and a half pounds. So, and I think it looks really good. Cook it up with some carrots, some baby carrots. I actually have some in the freezer and I'm gonna throw those in with it along with the chopped up onion and we'll have the asparagus with it. And the boys will probably have some corn. I'll probably open a can of corn for them. So they don't care for carrots. And I don't think they've ever tried asparagus and I'm pretty sure they won't, so. <laughs> and I picked up a couple packages of this Swaggerty, Swaggerty Farms, is that what it is? Yeah, Swaggerty's Farm Premium Sausage. And it's just like breakfast links and they're not fully cooked or anything like that. They're, they're totally raw. Uh, there's 28 links in a package for $5.98 and we've had this a couple times before. This is really good sausage. So I cooked this up with what I usually put in it is green beans and potatoes, but right now I'm not gonna put the potatoes in it. I'm just gonna do probably just the green beans and that'll be perfectly fine. It's really, really good. And the green beans take on like the flavor of the sausage a little bit, super good. I usually Okay, that was it for Walmart. So Aldi, I ended up getting two boxes of my K-Cups that I like and they're $4.99 each and I think there's 12 in each box. Yes, I also got some of this sucralose. I know. I say that every time I know. <laughs> I know. It's what we use. Sorry. This is uh, peanut butter. I mean, we just use this for the kids. I eat this sometimes too, I'm not gonna lie. It's not like the natural kind with no sugar, but I do eat like a little bit of this every once in a while and I'm good with it, so yeah. And I also picked up some mixed nuts. I've been really wanting some mixed nuts lately to snack on at night. But these are the last two things that I got. I picked up a glass cutting board. My cutting board is super, super old and like the little grippy things on the bottom have fallen off like a long time ago, which isn't a huge deal, but, but it's plastic. And like I said, I've had it for a really long time. So it's got like cut marks all over it. So I'll probably get rid of that one and just use this glass one. They also had some with like designs on the back, like like a coffee design. And there was one with wine, like wine bottles and stuff. but. I like to put this in the dishwasher and I know the ones with the design on the back, the designs come off in the dishwasher anyway. So why bother? <laughs> and the last thing I got was this basket. It's a one bushel basket, $3.49. Oh, and the cutting board was $4.99 if I didn't say that. $3.49 for this basket. And I got this for um, my recycling. This is gonna be for my cans, like my vegetable cans and stuff like that. So that's what I'm gonna be putting in this. I needed something else because I have a couple of baskets that I use for them already, but they're like half this size. I think I got them at the Dollar Tree probably, I don't know. But this one's bigger, so $3.49 I thought, yeah, I'll get that. It'll be a lot more convenient when I do my recycle. So that is it for my grocery haul, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.